the Lord bless us. I pray that this um, short tape is going to be a blessing to somebody. We are on day 10 of the Woman Renew Challenge. And on this day, we are looking at the woman that was caught in adultery in the book of John chapter 8. She was a woman that was caught um, you know, doing something she was not supposed to do and a group of people decided or her village or her town decided to gather together and to stone her to death because that was the punishment and that was the judgment at that time. And this woman teaches us to be renewed, to not judge, to be renewed, to, to walk in fairness, to be renewed, to allow God to himself be the judge overall that he is. Um, one thing I want us to pick up from this story is that we are not to judge others. We are to to love others as the Lord has asked us to love others and to pretty much mind our own business we are not the judge over people's lives and um, this woman the people gathered and the Lord Jesus came and they expected the God of all gods to partake in the judgment that they have decided against this person and what Jesus said to them in verse 7 of Matthew, John chapter 8 he said he that is without sin among you let him cast the first stone he that is without sin among you let him cast the first stone and the story continued to tell us that nobody nobody was able to pick up a stone to cast against that woman because in fact all of them was with sin and the judgment that they were placing upon her was an unfair judgment for getting their own dirty laundry and people some of us may have even been partakers of something like this but today we are renewed to not judge others and to allow the God that created every single one of us to be the judge over that thing that you think that is unfair against you let God be the judge over that thing that you have been victimized and you know that is not your fault and you know that you were indeed victimized please allow the Lord that fights and wins battle for his children to be the judge over that situation in your life. Let God be the judge. You don't want to cast a stone against someone that the Lord himself has already forgiven. You don't want to hold off unforgiveness and envy and grudge against someone that the Lord has already forgiven. Allow God to have his due process in the life of every single person and you make sure that your heart and your mind is free and clear from hate, from grudge and from judgment because judgment and vengeance belongs to the Lord. This woman, many of us have been in that particular place where we are judged and we and the verdict is placed upon your head as a reason of what they think you did, but God is the judge where we see that her name is not even shown, but she was identified by what she did. She was identified because of the judgment that has been placed over her head, but the God of all judges came and stood in her favor and granted her divine mercy and told her to go and that her sins had been forgiven because of the judgment that was against her. That was not a fair judgment. I beg of you to walk in love. I ask you in the name of Jesus to not judge others and also remember that the Lord is the judge of all judge. I leave you with Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 to 13. The Bible says, judge not that you may not be judged. For with the same judgment you judge others, you all also will be judged for the same measure you give to others you also will receive that measure again and the Bible also says and why are you looking at the spot at the mot in your brother's eye and you have not considered the big the beam in your own eye there are people who have bigger issues bigger problems bigger situations bigger things to laugh and talk about but they choose to look at that thing that is in their brother's or their sister's eyes if we are one of those people today even as you're listening to this you don't have to respond or say that it is me but you know within your heart where there is judgment where there is backbiting where there is envy where there is jealousy where there is strife where there is unforgiveness in the name of Jesus I declare that you will be renewed today to let all those things go and to allow the Lord Most High to be the judge over your life and over the lives of his children all of his children no matter how big the sin may be it is God that is the judge I pray this has blessed somebody um, I know that it could sometimes be a hard pill to swallow you know because we have to examine ourselves as much as we want the Word of God to be an impact and a blessing to improve our lives we also have to make sure that we 
work the word and improve our relationships and our interactions with the people that he has placed us around because truly if you are a daughter of Zion if you are a son of God and if you say that you are a Christian then your attributes your actions your behaviors is the only thing that somebody may see to be able to decide to give their life to Christ you may be the only person of salvation that makes an impact to bring somebody else into the kingdom and one thing that can deter from that is if you judge others please let us refrain from judging and love others with the love of the lord god bless you as we conclude the day 10 of the woman renew challenge i hope that you have been able to pick up the book the book that i wrote filled with the word of god the book that we are going through looking at um some wonderful women in the word of god and how their lives were changed by an encounter with christ and prayerfully our lives will also be changed as we look and learn from their stories the lord bless you and i'll see you on day 11 of the woman renew challenge make sure you invite somebody send somebody to the page send somebody to the email um woman renewed book at gmail.com this is alfina the lord loves you the lord bless you and i I love you. Bye-bye.